It is day two of four in the national finals, and we start this morning with the under-12 boys national final. It's Great Sankey High School up against Shenfield High School. Good corner back oh. to the back, stick on, it's headed against the post. Chibambo, but away on the counter-attack now is Waters. Good challenge, but Waters still has it, and there's an option to the right as well. It's still Waters, into the corner. 1-0, and great Sankey have an early advantage. What a strike. First, yes, what a great goal by Waters. Again, I thought he overran it with a 2v1, but he's put it in the top bin. What a fantastic strike. It's come from the other end as well there, with a fantastic header. Broke up the other end, Waters. As you can see here then, thought it over, won it, but what a finish. Keeper's not saving that at all. Superb goal. That was literally hitting the post. Shenfield, Sankey on the other end. What a fantastic goal. McDonald there with the ball back to Waters. McDonald. Well defended again, look. Bambo there looking to try to unleash Heath. Heath has made good ground. Twisting, turning in the penalty area. Good ball as well. Oh, oh excellent pitch. touch. Oh. What a goal. Oh. What a goal. Jude Longman. 1-1 and we're back all square. What great feat. That is a fantastic team goal. Culminating what's obviously fantastic feat. Done the defender a keeper. Fantastic finish there. By Longman. Really was. What a great goal. As we take a look again on the replay, it was an unbelievable piece of build up play. Whoops. Great goal. Pure quality for Shenfield, and they deserve that as well. Yeah, without that, they really have. Been knocking the door. Being very patient as they need to be. And a fan, honestly, that's what a fantastic goal that is. Waters driving forward with the ball at his feet. Nice offload as well to Wiggins. Back across, and it's flicked oh, in. Oh, good goal. What a response. It's Sullivani and Great Sankey have their lead back. 2 1. As is, you're always at uh, your most vulnerable straight after a goal. That's proved the point. Fantastic uh, run by Waters. Great layoff. Ball into the box. And there's Sullivani. Great finish, little flick here. As it goes, drives into the box, Waters. Lays it off. A super ball in there by Williams. And then, then great finish. What a good finish that was. Super goal. On that counter again. The referee blows the full-time whistle. Great Sankey, get the job done. They've beaten Shenfield High School by two goals to one in the final. It's an unbelievable achievement for Great Sankey. Goals from Jack Waters and Dana Sullivani. A strong performance from Shenfield, but in the end, it's commiserations to Gary Sampsford's side. The Jude Longman goal wasn't enough to spark a comeback. After Dana Sullivani flicked home just two minutes later. captain there Frankie Joe Brown with Tony Daly for the photo with the trophy and the trophy now is his it's for great Sankey High School crown champions of the ESFA under 12 PlayStation Schools Cup competition congratulations to great Sankey led brilliantly so I'm here with Coach Gary from Shenfield High School. What a final it was, and arguably those last 20 minutes, Shenfield, it was all gears for you, but just not enough in the end. Yeah, it feels like deja vu after yesterday. Um, definitely, yeah, we dominated that second half, so created some brilliant chances. Um, their defending was really good, got to give them credit. Obviously, the seven is a real physical 
a strong athlete and uh, he was a key player in the team. So credit to him. But yeah, the way we played football in the second half, had we played like that in the first half, okay, we would we, we would have won the game, certainly. It really was a battling performance from each and every department of the Shenfield side. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, there's been some good football played that second half. First half, we were a little bit nervous and weren't as brave on the ball. Um, second half, we played some really good stuff and created some really good chances. Jude's goal was, well, his composure in that finish was absolutely awesome. It's what he's done for us all season. Um, yeah, but they did defend well. Physically, a strong team compared to our boys who are quite small. Um, and that is a big, big factor when you're looking at performances at this age group. These guys have got a lot of development to come, though, so their future is really exciting. Their attitude has been absolutely awesome all year. It's been a real pleasure. A team like this don't come along every year. I'm really excited to work with them for another five to seven years because their future is really bright. You mentioned the physicality there, but the key point is you really saw how the team worked together to get that basics down already, that cohesion already. That's only positive for the future. Yeah, definitely. We, we can't outmuscle the team. Um, we're a technical team um, and we try to get the ball down and play. In the second half, we did that and that's how we created all our chances. Um, so hats off to the boys. They didn't give up. The spirit was outstanding. Uh, and I want to say thanks to all the Shenfield Army, especially thanks to the parents of these boys. You guys have been a credit. I really appreciate all your help this year. Thank you very much, Coach Gary. I'm sure we'll see Shenfield again soon. One more time, ladies and gents, let's hear it for Shenfield High School. So I'm here with Coach Andrew. It was a game that came down to just moments of brilliance. Yeah, big moments. We reacted well to going 1-1. Uh, obviously scoring within a minute completely changes the dynamic and shifts it back to us. Uh, made a couple of changes later on just to shore it up. And I think we overall, you know, obviously probably a bit biased, but I think we just deserve to nick it. Uh, in the big moments, we were the better side. And that's often what decides big games. And our boys come through on the day. It was a big game with big moments, but also composed moments, a really professional performance from your side. Yeah, massive moments. You know, we, we spoke, we've had, a, you know, 10 games now on the bounce that we've won this comp and every one of them, the boys have come through with, you know, being aggressive, fast at the times where we asked them to be, but then in the key moments being composed and nothing defines that more than a, a back heel finish to flick it in the back corner. So looking forward to that watching that back on YouTube a bit later and I'm sure that Dana, the lad who scored, will dine out on that for a long, long time and so he should. Fantastic player. Certainly on the highlight reel, but we've got to mention it, the amazing fan base that you've had behind you all morning as well. They've been very loud indeed. Yeah, we've, we, uh, we're from a traditionally a rugby town in Warrington and um, football doesn't come round. We're trying to change that. Me and Jay are doing some, you know, trying to do some good things and as soon as we got to the final, we said straight away we want to take a minimum of two coaches. We've given the lads an amazing day yesterday. And uh, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's made the journey. Year seven students and parents, carers, family, couldn't have done it without them. Well, Coach Andrew, I'll let you go and celebrate with your side one more time. Let's hear it for Grace Sankey High School.